If you're a Walmart shopper, you may soon come face to face with a robot. The retail giant is expanding a pilot program to deploy robots to help with replenishing stock. And as ABC 7 News reporter Chris Wynn explains, they're doing it with a lot of help from a company based in San Francisco. For shoppers at the McCarthy Ranch Walmart in Milpitas. I'm in Walmart and it's this thing like scanning the aisle. The reaction says it all. I was thinking first it's like cleaning a floor. Using technology similar to that of a self-driving vehicle, robots have been deployed to scan aisles for out-of-stock items as well as mislabeled merchandise and incorrect prices at nearly 50 Walmart stores across the country. The real-time data is passed along to employees who then go and stock the shelves. But this data that we're getting is arming our associates um, so that they have the information to do their jobs better and to serve our customers better. The robots are being produced by Bossa Nova Robotics in San Francisco. If I can take images of these shelves, is there a way of mining those images to figure out the tasks? Six years later, we're successful. Out of stock items are an issue for retailers since they miss out on sales. But some customers express concerns about the role of automation and the possibility of jobs eventually being eliminated. And everything's uh, automated service. So I don't know, it's starting to be a little bit scary. Uh, our machines taking over. <laughs> Walmart officials insist that it will not affect employee headcount, and many customers believe this will help ensure a smoother shopping experience. What's there, how many they have, how many they don't have, instead of having to come and check every so often like oh, or just bringing more than they need. The robots are now being tested at three stores in the Bay Area. Chris Wynn, ABC 7 News. A construction union took a stand today against an employment training program for inmates in California. The pre-apprenticeship program would give inmates on the job building training at prison construction projects. Dozens of union construction workers came to the state capitol to urge a no vote on that bill. They say the program would take jobs away from union construction workers. Supporters say the program is already proven successful. We can reduce the uh, crime in California by reducing recidivism. And uh, we think this is a great uh, program. It's proven success. It will make California more safe. The bill advanced today and will next be considered by the Senate Labor Committee. Well, it looks like a student rocket team from Southern California will get to go to NASA's annual competition mm. in Alabama. California law blocks state-funded organizations from spending money in states that discriminate against gay people. But today, the Citrus College Board is expected to allow the rocket owls to go. After a pushback from several people, including author Homer Hickam, Hickam's life story was the basis for the book and the movie October Sky, the students raise their own money to pay for that trip. Well, for decades, sociologists have asked children to draw a scientist. A new study shows more kids than ever are now drawing scientists as women. Researchers at Northwestern University analyzed five decades of the test. In the 60s and 70s, less than 1% of children drew a woman. Uh, since the 80s, it became more like 28 percent, now even as high as 33 percent. The study's lead scientists say it's a reflection of wo more women in science and more female scientists are being represented in the media and popular culture. Now, your AccuWeather forecast with Sandy Patel. Hi there, everyone. Make sure you hang on to your umbrellas. Take a look at Live Doppler 7. We do have some showers right now and the rain will continue.